is stroke recovery evolving? Are there, are there new tools, new technologies to help patients? Because, you know, medicine is just constantly changing every day. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like we saw in the video earlier, there's robotic therapy available. Um, and there's different types of robotic therapy, not just what we saw. Um, there's things that are specific to the arm, specific to the leg. Um, and it works similar in similar ways where it compensates for whatever movement is lacking. Um, there's also um, electrical stimulation that's focused on whatever specific muscle it is that's not activating. Um, so you can wear, for example, a cuff around your leg that will send that electrical stimulation to the muscle as you're lifting so that oh. your foot will come up um, as you take a step. Do you feel so it? Do you actually you do feel, feel that? It. Yes, you do feel that current. You do? <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes. It doesn't hurt or anything, no. it's just no, a little current? No, it doesn't hurt. You feel the little, the little current. It's not, um, it's not painful. Yeah, it's not painful. And how is that helping, Gabriela? Well, that's training the brain to do these movements, and it's also giving patients back their independence. Um, if you're unable to lift up your foot when you're walking, you're dragging your foot, this is going to help to do that so that you're not having falls, you're not having to hike your hip up when you're walking. So it really helps patients regain their function and their independence again. Are there any other uh, tools? I'm always fascinated yeah, to hear Yeah, definitely. This. A lot of um, virtual reality now we use um, for balance training, um, you know, the different, for example, the Wii we used a lot um, because yep. it gives you actual feedback as you're doing things on both sides of your body. Um, it's been a very useful tool.